Auzubillahimineshaitwanirrajim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim We are going to discuss statement of changes in equity. Now, this is basically a new statement which used to call previously retained earnings statements. But now, it's a new name. And in this uh, particular statement, we call, have ordinary shares which we call common shares reported at par. If there is any premium on it, that should be reported separately. Then we have the retained earnings. These are the profits which are accumulated over a number of years after taking out any dividend paid. Revaluation reserve. Uh, when we do some revaluation of assets, only then we record this uh, revaluation reserve. And this is not going to stay in this report forever. Ultimately, when that asset is used up, these reverse these reserves will be reversed to the retained earnings why the balance sheet balance because assets are equal to liabilities plus equity so two sides of it one side is assets and the other side is liabilities and equity so whenever an investor put anything into the business it goes to the asset side and then on the other side it's added to his equity equity, the shares. Now, when a businessman invests, let's say, other than cash, whatever he bring into the business, even if he brought some his own assets, let's say, into a business, so assets will be debited. Again, capital will be credited. So, that's why it always, any transaction we are taking, uh, in, taking place in the business, they affects both sides of the balance sheet. Even profit and loss, even income expense, they all affect straight away through the balance sheet. Anyhow, we prepare this statement towards the end of the year, but it, it, it is definite that anything you are adding or deducting from it balances the balance sheet. The transaction affects both sides of the balance sheet. Now, the change of equity statement, as you can see, there is a share capital, there is share premium. There is a retained earning and the reserves and the total. Now, starting from the opening balance, because we need to give comparative. So, start from let's say 1st January 19, and then 19 income and the dividend paid, and then we come up the balance at the end of the period of 19. And then currently, we have the current income and we have the dividend paid and we have the fair value revaluation. So, wherever there is a change, we need to make a change. Let me tell you another thing here, that if a company buy its own shares from the market, that is supposed to be deducted out of the share capital and from the total as well. And on those shares, we are not going to pay any dividends. Basically, they are unissued un shares. Later on, we can sell them. Later on, we can issue them. But when you bought it, that will be reflected in the statement of change in equity. Now, legal status and nature of business. Legal status here means that uh, is it a public limited company or it's a, simple, a private limited company or it is even sometimes government uh, departments, government companies like uh, as. Uh, like Lesco and all that, they are also now. Now, basis of preparation, that is also very important. Accounting convention we use to prepare these statements is historical cost. Historical cost means the day the cost incurred. Whenever the cost incurred, at that time the, you pay the money, that will be recorded. Now, later on there is a change, so we follow some other standards. But generally, all these accounts are being prepared under the historical cost concept. Though we use estimates and judgments as well. Management is allowed to use judgment. For example, how much depreciation should be charged? Again, not necessarily whatever amount you are charging is exactly the amount reduction from the asset account. No, we just estimate maybe 10%, maybe 20%. For example, building maybe 2 percent, but so far motor vehicle is concerned, maybe 25 percent. So, here we use our own judgment 
which which amount we are supposed to charge to the income statement summary of significant accounting policies as a, now as a, for the students i will recommend please you must have one published reports of any company maybe a textile maybe a cement company or maybe any type of company but you should have a, comp a full report and you can see among those reports that uh, after the balance sheet income statement cash flow statement change in equity statement you will come across notes to the accounts and among those notes to the account there is a list a called significant accounting policy now significant not all, all but the significant one which is very important for example you are borrowing money from the bank so balance sheet says loan from the bank but the notes will tell you exactly if the loan is borrowed what security is behind it what is the mark of rate on it how much balance in the balance in previous years and current year so all those details should be in the notes notes in the shape of notes now new revised standards if we are following because now it is also required some standard for example from 1918 uh, 20, 2018 the new standards are being followed so we have to mention a detail that your these accounts are being prepared under this 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 standards all those details are given property plant and equipment long term loans stock in trade share capital all notes are there and let me tell you about the share capital in the share capital we give the details that how many shares you have issued how much how much is the authorized capital how many have you issued and to whom you have issued a detail of shareholder pattern will be given but if some individual i mean companies are buying your shares or let's say insurance company have bought some shares banks have bought some shares so you have to mention them that how these shares are going to be allocated so the detailed notes another thing you have to mention the capacity of your business as well how much uh, you have the rated capacity that these many units you can produce now question is what exactly you produce so what is the percentage 90% 95% or maybe 100% but you need to mention that this is our rated capacity and this capacity we have achieved so they are all in the shape of notes thank you very much